Hi everyone, this is Subhashree, Assistant Professor CSC from SNS College of Engineering. So in the last lecture series, we have seen what is an object-oriented programming and structure and concepts of object-oriented programming. So today, let me discuss about uh, what are the examples of the object-oriented programming. Also, these are the basics. Uh, so, we will just touch up what are the simple examples of this uh, object oriented programming language. So, while Simula is uh, credited as being the first object oriented programming language, many other uh, programming language which are being used in this OOPS concept today. So, but some programming language which will pair with uh, your uh, OOPS better than the others. So, for example, programming language considered uh, pure OOPS languages treat everything as an object. So, other programming languages are designed primarily for this OOPS concept, but uh, with some procedural process included. Uh, so, for example, uh, popular pure uh, OOPS languages, which includes your Ruby, Scala, Jade, Emerald, and also programming languages which are designed primarily for the swoops includes Java, Python, C++ and also other programming languages uh, that pair with the OOPS includes Visual Basic .NET, PHP, JavaScript. Okay. Uh, so, moving on to the example what uh, we have given on our slide, a way of viewing your world with OOPS. Let me take the example Zomato or it may be a Swiggy, Uber or uh, your Food Panda or KFC, any uh, application. You just take uh, online applications for uh, sending your foods. Okay. So, how they are getting the requests is how they are doing the responses that are done with the help of the object oriented programming. Okay. The main people who are uh, in that uh, sector. So, they know what it is. Okay. When the First thing is the particular person is sending a request message for ordering the food and uh, immediately the request message will be forwarded to your uh, agent who is considered as your object and also when the agent gets the request message automatically he will have a attribute like other person to take up that particular message like your swiggy boy. So, he is taking up the request from the particular agent, he is going to the particular spot and uh, he is pick up the data. Okay, so, sorry, he is just giving the data, not pick up the data, that is your output. He is just giving the data to the particular uh, shop owner. Okay, So, whether these are the orders or items or which is being ordered. So, this is the request which he got from his uh, upper higher authorities. Okay. So, so he is just giving that particular uh, thing, request message to data to the particular shop owner and uh, he has some method for preparing the data. So, the method, it may be a cook or it may be a uh, thing uh, which is preparing by its uh, uh, schedules or uh, managing tasks, all those can be considered as your methods. So, with the help of the methods, they are just uh, taking up the food order and they are just uh, making your food getting ready and after that they are giving the output back it may be a biryani or it may be a sandwich or it may be any your favorite item they are just picking that particular uh, data it is considered as your data here so they are uh, picking up that data with the help of few methods the database being prepared so your data is considered as your output or that object which you are getting back so, the object which uh, your that output which you are getting back is said to be as your response message that the particular client will be receiving their food order. Okay. So, the first thing is they are sending a request message that is that may be from any organization or anyone. They are considering the agent as um, your object. The agent is working for them. So, they are just going to the spot uh, on spot uh, at a time. And they are just giving the data. So, with the help of the data, the method is being uh, scheduled. And with the help of the method, the output is being received. The response is being received. Okay. So, this is simple example. You can uh, just keep in mind for this uh, object-oriented programming concepts. So, as we like food, uh, I have just given the example with the help of the food. 
So you can just uh, relate it with your uh, regular uh, programming concepts. How you are using the class, how you are using the data, how you are using the objects and how you are making up the program, particular program to work. Okay. Hope uh, this will be useful to you. So let me see you on your next video. Thank you all.